All right, so Notion just quietly rolled out some of its most powerful updates yet, and barely anyone's talking about them. So this is your inside pass to the features that could completely change the way you use Notion. I spent years helping over 18,000 people optimize their Notion workspaces, not just for organization, but for real productivity and decision making. And I keep up with every feature drop so you don't have to. And I want to mention, I like Notion for its genius tech and the way they think about system design. I don't use Notion because I can embed pretty pictures. So FYI, some of these updates I'll go through are a bit nerdy, but the practical use cases of them are incredible. Most of my videos are very beginner friendly, but let me just geek out just a tiny bit in this video, please. Because these new updates aren't gimmicks, they solve actual pain points. I'll be using Headquarters, my premium productivity Notion template for these examples, but obviously these updates will work for any dashboard that you're using, not just the 2,500 users with a five-star rating that use my productivity setup. Cough, cough, hint, hint, link in the description. So in this video, I'm going to walk through these game-changing updates and exactly how to use them. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you my favorite update first. Subscribe for Notion tutorials. Let's dive in. All right, so here we have Headquarters, and I'm going to show you the first update, which is absolutely crazy. So this here is a Notion calendar calendar database. And when you click on manage in calendar, then you get this up here. This is the notion calendar app. If you haven't used this before, it is incredible, but the new update takes this to the next level. Let's say I just call this a task that's creative. As you can see, that task now appears here in my notion calendar and let's drag this down. And let's say I'm going to do this task here at 11 to 12. Now here on the side, I can see my properties. So we have importance, state and urgency, and that's coming from here, state importance and urgency. So these different tags here are showing up in my calendar. So I can change urgency to urgent. I can say state is easy and importance is important, for example. And not only does it change here, but as you can see, it impacts it on here as well. All right, the next update is a quick one. Let's just say this task here and I add an emoji to it. Let's say this and I click away. This emoji now appears here, obviously, like it always did. But as you can see, that emoji also appears here. This is quite a useful trick if you haven't used it before. All right, let's add a note here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Click away, add another note. Subscribe, 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 click away. Now what I'm going to do is scroll down and I'll go to my quick note here. And as you can see, I can see subscribe and blah. So what I'll do is open this up. And now what I can do is right click on new note and do duplicate. And I'll call this scroll. And now what I can do is click here on settings and click on layout. And as you can see, there is this new layout here called feed. So I can literally scroll through my notes like this now. This is really useful. By the way, you can also sort these automatically. If you wanna sort them by time created, you can have that as ascending or as descending, which can be super useful. And obviously this doesn't just work for quick notes. This could be useful for stuff like your journal entries and having that on your journal page here. Right click journal layout feed and seeing your journal entries as a feed. I always appreciate when Notion adds new layouts, super creative, super useful. All right, let's say I have a meeting today with my boss. I'll create a task and say meeting, with boss date, we'll say today, urgency, urgent, important, important state, flow state. The bucket here that is to do with my job. And let's say the project is the big project, nice and vague. Okay, so I'll add that as a new project. What I'll do now is open this up when I'm having my meeting with my boss. And here, what I'll simply do is forward slash and write meeting. And as you can see, it says AI meeting notes. So I'll click here and say, start with limited audio. I like coffee because it tastes good and it's so yummy. And when I drink the coffee, my tummy goes yum, yum, yum. I love me a drink of that coffee. And as you can see, it generates this summary here. It appears you're testing out AI meeting notes feature with a short sample recording. You mention how you enjoy your coffee, noting that it tastes good and yummy. So now that I've had this meeting with my boss, I can tick that in. And let's say I'm working on this big project in the future and I need to find those notes. I'll simply click on the big project here, click on completed tasks. And here I can see my meeting with my boss. This is super useful as it all happens again natively in Notion. I hope you found this useful. If you wanna see a full tour of headquarters, then click on this video here. It's got over 2,500 users and a five-star rating. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in this video.